Delivery supergiant Amazon is being accused of trying to spy on its workers by trade unions across the continent. The claim started after the company posted a job advert looking for two new employees to keep track of potential threats to Amazon, including organised labour. Industry representatives have already sent a letter to the European Commission asking for an investigation. They cannot spy on workers and on other parts of our society. We want that the European Commission and the European institutions really look into Amazon and see what are they actually doing and how we can stop it. In Europe, we have the GDPR, we have data protection and privacy rights, and they need to be upheld, and that means we have to investigate. It's two paragraphs from the advert, though, which sent alarm bells ringing. The first part asked for someone fluent in French and Spanish, suggesting that European workers could be targets. The second mentioned the monitoring of hostile political leaders, and the ad was also aimed at people with law enforcement or military experience. A group of 37 MEPs have now written to Amazon's chief, Jeff Bezos, demanding information. The other thing that's very surprising is that it was to monitor, in the same sentence, political leaders, workers and terrorists. All of that put in the same sentence. So with the implication being that a political leader or being a terrorist are the same thing, and also that being a trade unionist or being a terrorist is the same thing. Amazon has now deleted the ad. But in response to a Euronews request, however, it argues that the job post was not an accurate description of the role and that it was made in error and has since been corrected. The company also says that they don't spy on anyone. They only try to understand the environment in which they operate. But beyond this fresh controversy, unions and MEPs have concerns about the rights of Amazon workers, with testimonials from employees being collected for months now. Each time they told me the same thing, and in particular to what extent there was a work organization set up by Amazon themselves. And we also saw that there was a desire by Amazon to prevent any collective organization of workers. And unions are also concerned about the dominant position of the US giant in the online marketplace. We basically see an Amazon push towards a situation where nobody can actually pay fair wages because Amazon is so competitive and so powerful. We need to stop this. With the EU's new Digital Service Act expected later this year, unions are calling on the Commission to take this Amazon saga into account when developing the new regulation. Christopher Pitchers, Euronews, Brussels.